Welcome to the Factory Cat GTX Machine Operation video number three of a three part video series. Before starting your cleaning day, fill your GTX with 35 gallons of cleaning solution as demonstrated here. A note of caution use only low foaming liquid chemicals, no powders. It is important that the chemical is not flammable and that the water does not exceed 135 degrees Fahrenheit or 57 degrees Celsius. Do not use a chemical that incorporates a high percentage of bleach and make sure that all cleaning chemistry is approved for your facility. For further information, contact your facilities manager. When selecting a brush for your GTX scrubber, make sure that it is designed for the floor type in your facility. Always run a new brush in an inconspicuous location to ensure that it is cleaning properly. Setting controls for single scrub pass. First, turn your power up switch to the on position as demonstrated. Next, turn the red motion toggle switch to the forward position as demonstrated here. Next, turn the black vacuum rocker switch to the on position, followed by the solution toggle switch. The solution toggle switch will allow you to infinitely adjust your water flow as shown. One third flow is the proper setting for most floors. Lastly, flip your brush deck rocker switch to the on position. This will lower your scrub deck to the ground. Note, make sure that the pad drivers or scrub brushes are properly installed before lowering your scrub deck. Just above these switches is the black toggle brush pressure switch. This switch allows you to adjust your brush pressure based on the needs of your cleaning application. Note, always start on low brush pressure setting before increasing your brush pressure. Located next to the down pressure LCD are the system activation icons. Once the machine settings are in place and the accelerator pedal is depressed, the activation icons will illuminate showing the operator what systems are in operation, as demonstrated here. Your GTX Rider Scrubber is equipped with a Unitouch control button. By leaving the vacuum and brush deck toggle switch in the off position, you can activate the vacuum squeegee and scrub deck with one simple step by simply depressing the green Unitouch button. The brush deck and squeegees will automatically lower to the floor. It's just that easy. When using your GTX in the single scrub pass mode, it is important to make sure that the floor is pre sweeped before conducting scrubbing operations. It is important also to have the proper wet floor signs posted throughout your scrubbing area. The most effective way to operate your GTX Rider Scrubber is to scrub in a decreasing circle, as demonstrated here. Double Scrub Mode Your GTX can also be used in Double Scrub Mode. This will allow the operator to thoroughly scrub the floor in extreme cleaning conditions. To do so, set the GTX machine controls the same way that they were set during Single Scrub, but with the squeegee and vac toggle in the off position. This will allow the operator to dispense cleaning solution to the floor and scrub all at the same time. When the second pass has been completed, simply turn the vacuum rocker switch to the on position. And the vac motor and the squeegees will lower for recovery as demonstrated here. Note, it is important to have wet floor signs in place in all areas where you are double scrubbing. Your GTX comes complete with wall charts that allow the operators to review the required machine and battery maintenance that are required to keep your GTX in proper operating order. These wall charts should be located next to your GTX's service bay. End of day maintenance. At the end of your scrubbing shift, it is important to service your GTX scrubber. To do so, you will need an authorized floor drain to service your GTX. Back your GTX up to the floor drain as demonstrated here and turn the brass T-handle holding the drain hose in a counterclockwise rotation to release the recovery tank drain hose assembly. Once released, drain accordingly. 
Located to the left of the drain hose is a clear solution clean water recovery drain hose. To drain your freshwater recovery tank, simply remove the hose from its friction tab and drain accordingly. Your GTX solution tank can be leaned back once all the recovery and clean water solution has been drained. To do so, simply lean the tank back accordingly. The tank is safely supported by a safety lanyard. Next, open the recovery lid and thoroughly rinse the recovery tank with the drain hose in the open position. Once all the dirt and debris has been cleared from the tank assembly, replace the tank in the upright position. Once in the upright position, service your drain saver assembly accordingly. Make sure that all the recovered debris are properly disposed of and that the basket is thoroughly rinsed as shown. A note. Depending on your facility and the amount of debris on the floor, the drain saver may have to be periodically emptied during your scrubbing operations throughout your shift. Once the basket has been serviced, replace as demonstrated. Next, check your float shutoff assembly. It is important to make sure that the float ball is in place and in proper working condition. Periodically, the float shutoff should be removed and rinsed accordingly, as demonstrated here. Once your drain saver and float shutoff have been properly serviced, it is important to service the tank beads and vacuum seals to make sure that they are clear of any debris and soil to ensure a proper vacuum seal. If damage or wear is noticed to any of the seal assemblies, please contact your local service provider for maintenance. When this is complete, lower your recovery tank lid and open the clear recovery sight dome as demonstrated here. Clean the seals and the lid bead and clean the sight dome accordingly. Note, it is important to make sure that when replacing the sight dome, that the two chain lanyards are properly stowed inside the recovery tank to ensure that the sight dome seals secure properly to the recovery lid. Once your recovery tank has been thoroughly serviced, it is important next to service your squeegee assembly. To do so, remove the vacuum hose and loosen the two thumb screws that hold the squeegee assembly in place as demonstrated here. Once removed, rinse thoroughly the inside of the squeegee channel assembly and wipe down the entire squeegee assembly to make sure that it is clean and in good working order for the next day's cleaning shift. At the end of your cleaning day, your GTX may need to be charged. Your GTX came with a fully automatic charger. Make sure that your factory supply charger is plugged into the proper wall outlet and then plug the Gray Anderson connector into the machine's charge port accordingly. Your charger automatically turns on, charges your GTX, and turns off when the charge cycle is complete. Note, for more detailed information on charging your GTX, please refer to your GTX's owner's manual. Squeegee Replacement Periodically, your GTX will require the replacement of its squeegee rubbers. To do so, loosen the two squeegee thumb screws as demonstrated here. Located on the right corner of your upper squeegee assembly is an embossed number, designating what size squeegee your GTX is equipped with. Please replace with the proper squeegee rubbers based on this designated marker. To replace the rear wiper squeegee, Undo the stainless steel wing nuts as demonstrated here. 
Next, remove the stainless steel retainer band. Once this band has been removed, the squeegee rubber can be replaced or flipped accordingly. Note, your squeegee rubber has four usable edges, as demonstrated here. Once all the edges have been used, the squeegee rubber will have to be replaced. Contact your local service provider for replacement. To replace your front squeegee, remove all your wing nuts and squeegee bolts. Keep in mind that the bolts need to be replaced in the exact same order as they were removed. Once removed, replace the squeegee and reassemble in reverse order. Your front squeegee has two working surfaces. The top half has five intake slots and the bottom half has three intake slots. Depending on the type of floors you are cleaning, you can adjust your squeegee accordingly for maximum performance. For more information about your Factory Cat GTX Ride-On Scrubber, you can find us on the web at www.factorycat.com. Once on the site, click on the Scrubber tab. And once you have done this, click on the GTX tab. And you will have access to all the detailed information required for your Factory Cat Rider Scrubber. In this example, we will click on the Preventive Maintenance tab which will give us a detailed template of what is required to maintain your Factory Cat Rider Scrubber. For all information on your GTX Rider Scrubber, it can be found here on this website. For more detailed information about this product or any other Factory Cat product, you can contact us on the web at www.factorycat.com or Call us toll free at 1-800-634-4060. We're Factory Cat, putting the power of the cat to work for you.